All right, I'll give him the go ahead so I can do the nameplates in a little bit. But, so this should be it's magic. <laughs> what? All right. <laughs> what? It's Sean, Sean's name? Oh, oh, it's magic. No. <laughs> is that is that really? Is that really what, what? it is? Sean, Sean? Sean's magic, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. Really hoping for a Bomberman win. Just want yeah. To watch this infect deck lose. I want him to win the first game. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love this deck. It's <laughs> so bad. His mana base is... Hey, somebody's a two-color deck and his mana base sucks. I don't I don't know how he managed to pull that off. This is the second, <laughs> second trimester and three trimesters. That t Shauna built a deck that's two colors and so yet, yet somehow has a horrible mana base. What? You didn't like Steam Vents? No, it was atrocious. You didn't like Steam Vents? I liked Steam Vents. No. I thought he Steam Vents like, was three good matches stuff. of him not casting spells. I He mulligans and then just got um, wastelanded. Like, right, doesn't just... Sean eventually just like go, all right, you know what really sucks in magic? Not casting spells. And just like actually <laughs> builds like a legitimate mana base that doesn't suck. I mean, he doesn't play the decks, he plays the tournaments. He's always got to play goofy stuff. <laughs> this is a call-out. He plays goofy stuff, except for the deck from last week, but well, last uh, trimester, with the, the Blue Moon Chandra, which was, like, my favorite deck ever. Yeah, all right. So Sean has a two-infect creature hand with a Berserk and a Fluster Storm, which is really good. Yeah. I think. Yeah, he's going to have a... Not Matt Mulligan already? No, he's no. Mulligan now. Yeah. Mulligan now. The hand was atrocious, so he needed to mulligan that. Oh, man, he's got the um, surprise blocker. He has a surprise blocker for the Glistening Elf, and he has, like, Contaminant Priest just being ambushed Vipers. Awesome. Um, <laughs> and he has Trinket Mage on his top turn one, surprise blocker turn two, and Trinket Mage turn three. Trinket so Mage. That's a nice hand. Trinket Mage gets what? EE to kill this Blighted Agent that's going to come down. Which one's blooded agent? In, okay. Unless yeah, he finds a sword. Guy. Unless he finds a sword, yeah. He, yeah, he can't. He can't just let the blooded agent hit him, so he's got to kill it as fast as possible. <laughs> Sean was a little too quick. Let him uh, give him a little information on his scry, but I I don't think it would have. Yeah, yeah. Matt no, 7 no, was the have, most. <laughs> it wouldn't have changed anything because he's just going to flash in the containment priest against this thing. Yeah. I, I don't see how he does any other line. At the at worst, flashing containment priest blocking Glistener Elf eats a eats a uh, pump spell in Sean's hand. Um, which is I think fine. All right. So what did he? I forget if he bottom decked or not. Oh, there's mana crypt. Oh, he kept it on top. So All right. So now he can turn one trinket, trinket mage instead. Which it gives, it just gives him a play. He doesn't need to surprise the Glyph Elf. He just has a blocker. Yeah. And he's going to play yeah. Blighted. Surprising it might actually be better, but... I think I would have preferred the the surprise. I I mean, he definitely has to get EE here. I don't see how he does anything other than get EE. <laughs> Sean's messing with him. He's like, it's unca uncounterable Trinket Mage. <laughs> Uh, uh, you're, you're allowed. You are allowed to force a bullet. You can. That's you can. It just will not do anything. It just won't do anything. If you yeah. want to get from under a black vise, you can force yeah. of will an uncounterable spell that they throw through cavern. Yeah, or you can get like your mentor triggers and stuff, like actual something good. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's black vise. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you can play four now. What if your opponent goes workshop vice vice vice? Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then they go cavern, and then they go cavern, and if you have no moxin in your hand, <laughs> I mean, I mean, on turn one you take what twelve? Yeah, you go down to eight, and then they play. Or is, it, or is it? Is it twelve or is it nine? Three, six, nine. nine. So nine. Yeah, you take nine on turn one, then you on tap, then you then you just play your moxin, and like it's shut off immediately. Right, but you know what if they have the Library of Alexandria draw, and you just further punish that. The four, then the workshop player plays like howling mines and stuff to make them draw back. Yeah, up, yeah. Just... And then, then the then the workshop player has a draw engine, right? Okay. Yeah. That yeah. benefits both players, and they're just dying under vices. And then we gotta find yeah. another way to kill Sounds... monsters. So we play gorilla shaman too. 
So you can kill their moxes so they can't play anything. They just get stuck under spheres, drawing a million cards, dying to black vices. Who needs lodestone golem? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's send the sphere and uh, and the attacker, but eh. no, we don't need that. <laughs> right, Stormseeker. Then you play Stormseeker, and then you make them take <laughs> make them take eight damage. In the, in the Red War Chump deck, yeah. <laughs> and actually, Stormseeker's two words. I know that card. It's just ridiculous that I do. <laughs> so how much Stormseeker's three and a green? It's from Legends. The picture is oh, a sword stuck you in the ground. Now, right? Yeah, it's called Sudden Impact. It's a red card. Yeah, yeah. It's the same casting cost and everything. I'm pretty sure there's even better cards than Sudden Impact now, too. No, if you want to hurt your opponent based on their cards in hand, that's just stupid. Play Tybalt. Come on. Get get, get Tybalt some action. Tybalt, Tybalt just wants to be played. No. He's, like, begging people to play him. No. Never. It, like After, like, two activations, you can Sudden Impact your opponent. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. It's such a bad card. Like, what were they thinking? <laughs> I don't know. They just didn't want to... You know Let's make this... Well, they made a two-man... I mean, yeah. They want... They want. Right. They don't want it to be broken They made a two, when they made a two-man of Planeswalker. For yeah, time. you know, like, what kind of what kind of people would make a two-man of Planeswalker? That would be ridiculous. I mean, and then you make it, like, really good, and, you know, everyone's playing it, right? Right, Why right. would you do that? Why would, why would, do that? Why would oh, they make wait, a two-man of Planeswalker? I did it with Jason again. <laughs> <laughs> what we what we found out with with Jace Burns Prodigy is that people like if your name is Jace, you're allowed to be a broken planeswalker. If your name is not Jace, you're not allowed to be broken. <laughs> Jeez. To be fair, Jace only has two broken things. There's a lot of Jaces out there that aren't no, that Jace, good. The original Jace Bellerin was actually the best original planeswalker in I standard think, time. Garrick, Garrick was you just play him better. as a you play him as three mana draw three at the very least. I. You, you would get three cards out of for three mana. Giving my opponent one card to draw two, I definitely did up my Jace at times. You yeah, yeah, just... yeah. At times you up your Jace just to keep the engine going. Then you're drawing a card every turn, though, yeah. right? Yeah, but for, you could play. Mana, you, draw a card every turn. you could play Garrick, untap two lands, and then overrun. Nice cards I'm in Garrick. your hand. They can't stop I mean, me. Garrick was the most expensive for a while with the tokens too. Gar but Garrick was the, the one that won the. the Garrick's the one that's won more. I think I think Garrick, Garrick won the worlds where he was legal. Uh, yeah, it was the black. It was what was his name? Yuri Peleg, the world champion. Garrick, I think it was ninety seven. Garrick, Garrick has more of it's his top eight still. Yeah, it's in stasis. The deck. Okay, yeah, you're right. It is in stasis. You've caught me there. <laughs> Jeez, it's really good in stasis. It sounds it, was, it sounds amazing in stasis. You get to on top. You get to slowly on top. You know, you're basically untapping one land to turn. <laughs> well, your opponent untaps, like, zero, you know? Yeah, yeah, and you're 100% right. And then eventually you just start making beasts out of them, and you can attack for three with them. <laughs> it's really sweet. Beasts that don't like, attack. Every, every, every other team, well, they don't untap, yeah. But every right. other turn, because you can untap two blue sources a turn, every other turn you get in three damage. That... So Matt's playing um, EE uh, two. I'm just popping it right away. And oh, okay, he's popping it right away. Okay. Doesn't want to deal with anything. I don't know if he was gonna hold it for a little while. I think he's uh, afraid of that blighted ancient. He just wants it out of here as soon as possible. He might also be playing the containment priest in his hand. He does have a mana floating. Yeah. He just wants to he's main trying... phase it? Alright, yeah, let's main phase yeah, he's it. He's trying to maximize the mana usage. And I get attacked with his trick of mage. Double Berserk in Sean's hand. So you can double it, and then you can double it again. Uh, I mean, if... Oh, no, wait, if he draws mind. an Invigorate, Invigorate off the top, Invigorate off... No, time come on, walk. Man. He's time walking immediately. It just cycles. Yeah. Just <laughs> wait, hold on. It gets, it gets trampled, so four doubles... Yeah, actually, if he draws Invigorate, he yeah, wins. Yeah, it's, it's game. It's yeah. like a really easy game. Yeah. All right. He needs to draw Ancestral here into the Invigorate. Or brainstorm. Just or... invigorate. Period. Why just... would you do your ancestral? I'm tr I'm trying to give more than just the invigorates. Come on, invigorate. <laughs> Come on, invigorate. Uh, uh, brainstorm. Other okay. You can draw Brain brainstorm. Draw him into invigorate. Right, like this brainstorm <laughs> that's gonna draw him the invigorate. Come on, invigorate. Come on, invigorate. <laughs> All right. Is he like he's like stalling? He's like sitting there with his like his his hand on his face, like all right, I'm gonna draw this invigorate that allows me to win the game. There's four of them in his deck, three out of 50, three out of fifty, and there's four of them, four chances <laughs> at it. But like uh, uh, twenty five percent chance he hits it and he misses it though. He misses it. 
So as a mox, all right. So you can put back the fetch land and the fluster storm. Doesn't he want to? Right. Oh no, no, he can keep the fetch land. Yeah, yeah. Puts oh no, wait, hold mox. on. Puts back it... the mox and the fluster storm. Oh no, wait, yeah, this is still the win. Oh no, no, because you have to kick it, right? Yeah, you have to kick it, which makes it a five-five, and then you berserk it, which makes ten. it a ten-ten. And it tramples over. So he's at nine infect. Yeah, that's not enough. Not enough. But he's not dead. You still have to kill next turn. Yeah. Just but play, then just play the mocks and then pass and then. All right. Yeah, you oh. still have to kill next turn. You put and berserk. you can fluster. Can you you can fluster storm back at next turn too, right? Yeah. You put we put him in the graveyard instead of in the. All right, <laughs> but berserk kills your guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Man, she's gonna attack. Oh, no, he just gonna, just passes. He's not attack? Why would he attack? Because you can put him to nine in fact. You show him what's what up. What does that do? He's still, <laughs> he's still alive. You, it's sending a message. I could have killed you, but I, I didn't. I want to lose. You use every single one of the resources to put your opponent at nine in fact. He's still not dead. Not about winning. It's about sending a message. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we get Beth four. That's not black man to cast his vamp, so. No, he's playing uh, a salvager. Otherwise, otherwise, he might be able to play spoiler on this, but. Um, if Matt decides to attack, he's going to be in a world of hurt. This is a 16 16, or a 2020 Gristle Ralph next turn. Right. That's. He's going to double, and then it doubles again on top of that, which makes it 2020. And Matt has eight toughness of blockers. It doesn't actually matter what Matt does. Unless he plays something to kill it. Nope, he doesn't have anything. So he's just uh, gonna stay back. He taps out. He steps he taps out, he stays back. Yeah. He's gonna die. Yep, he's gonna die. <laughs> so Sean has Sean also has a fluster storm backing this, right? Correct. That's why he waited. Oh no, no, turn. no. He won't he won't be able to use both of them. Oh, that's true. I mean he's gonna go because for it, he, right? He has, yeah, he's gonna go for it. Unless I he passes, he your opponent's passes, tapped out. Like, well, he brought know, back the he brought back the EE, e, so he has to go for it. So it's like, all right, right, attack. right. Oh, right. He doesn't even have a choice, right? The EE's <laughs> e just gonna pull him next turn. Is he lining up all the guys? Okay, double block. He's gonna go. Vines first, which gives it. Uh, four four. Because it hexproof. Right. Makes it a five five. I don't think I got stop him is forcible, but I think you just have to go for berserk berserk. Yeah. Okay, Berserk. And then another Berserk resolves. I mean, he's not just happy, just he's well, got to kill him. Misstep would have stopped him. Yeah, Misstep I mean, like would any, stop him. Any, any, any counter spell stops the actual kill. Everything stops I don't him think, right I don't, any, Nothing really stops the um, him get, getting it. Yeah. <laughs> 20, 20, 20. So he takes... Oh, draws with top. Oh, no! <laughs> There's the force... The Floating the blue card. Oh, oh man. man. So, so he's at seven, in fact. He's at nine, in fact. Right, so oh, that's oh, ten. No, six, in fact. Six, in fact, yeah. Seven, in fact. Seven, in fact. That's at seven, in fact, but he has an EE in his hand. Okay, it's game. Yeah. It's... That's pretty much game, because he, he has the EE that can, he can recur. <laughs> yeah. If only that was, like, if only that was 14 damage instead of seven, in fact. Matt would be dead right now. <laughs> That's that's very true. I mean, that's the big problem with Infect is that all these decks that are like suicidal, you don't really get that advantage. That advantage of your opponent, like he's at nine. Yeah. For mana. Like if Sean was actually just playing regular damage. Man, what a way, way better shape. Yeah. Like, like what? Like a... Elf is just like a one mana two one, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a it's and, a jungle lion. And, and bladed agent, bladed agent was like a two power, yeah, two two or two one. They're all just was, two ones. Yeah. The flip top, the flip top. So that's uh, I don't know. That's like cheating. <laughs> so he's about to draw fetch land right now. Yep. Yeah, because he fetch land locked himself. Well, he he wanted all the cards. I don't think he, that counts. He could have put back the card. He could have fetched away. No, he he, he could have set it up so he fetched away one of the cards. 
yeah. had the option of fetching away one of the cards, I guess, right? Uh, no, he needed all the cards the way they were drawn, I think. I, actually, yeah, because he wanted to draw the he second could, Berserk. He, he could have fetched away the Mox, I think. And um, at least got another top deck. Went with the land? Yeah, actually, he could have... Well, you could have shuffled away the Mox, yeah. He could have played a little different. Yeah, he could have sh- put the Mox to the last card and played the fetch land that turn. And then he would have drawn the second Berserk and then fetched and then actually got in a draw phase there. I don't yeah. know if it matters, but... Eh, who knows what it could have been. It's well, pretty, it hard be- from, pretty hard for him to get through the lock of... Um, yeah, there really is nothing he was. He, he needed, like, another mana to play his Fluster Storm. Or he needed to draw his Dumb Invigorate so he'd be able to Fluster Storm. Like... <laughs> He draws vines and not invigorate. Come on, he was so close to winning that. But whatever. Game two, sideboard. Matt has uh, another EE, maybe another containment priest with a surprise blocker, another plow, uh, counterbalance, yeah, has, which is huge. He has EE, EE, mind break trap, um, swords. The two counterbalances. Those are the five card, six Kylie needle. Mm-hmm. Um. He can take out Hercules, Nihil, um, Hercules and Nihil definitely. Containment Priest is three. Uh, I don't know where. What else he take? Mind Sculptors. Mind Sculptors are pretty slow. Yeah. He doesn't really need them to win. And you can take out the Mentor. And knowing Matt, he likes to take out win cons, so. <laughs> I definitely, he definitely doesn't take out the uh, Magus of the Future. He wants that in play. No, keep the Magus of the Future. You keep the Salvagers, and you keep the Tassiker, and the Trinket Mages as your win con. I mean, that's plenty. That's yeah, six that's... creatures yeah. for beatdown. You have the whole combo still. Sean really and has you brought, nothing. You bring in a ton of cards that can stop him. Sean really just has stone nothing. Yeah, his sideboard's not designed to beat. It's designed to beat there. Shops and Dredge. Yeah, and Sean, so, all right, this, this is also a win and in, like, a win and tie for Sean. So, Sean gets, loses here, he's knocked out. Right. Whereas, Matt's based on his playing for ranking, so. Um, well, yeah, because we're going to have to have a, if if Josh and Matt win, we're going to have to have a playoff to see who's first seed and who's second seed as well. Is there a buy for first seed? In our There's right no now? buy, it's just... It's the- Going first means I get to play first. So, man, they they would be playing to see who gets to go first in the... And who gets to play the four seed. In the the top four and the type two. Yeah, and that too. So, like I said, it's very close, including the top is very close. It's it's pretty interesting. From from what I'm used to is just uh, Brian rises to the top and then everyone else just doesn't. Uh, Matt's hand is atrocious. Matt's hand is definitely all again. Um... Sean's hand. Oh, Sean had the Stony Silence. That is, oh. that is at the sideboard, right? Is that what he, pretty good. Is that what he wants? Does he want Stony Silence? Stony Silence is really good. I I, I, I consider keeping Sean's hand. So you can top deck one mana source. That's a really good hand. But I mean, it's really contingent on drawing that mana source. He really needs to draw, but he could survive without it for a little while. Wow. <laughs> I mean, he plays Glistener Elf, Glistener Elf. Yeah, this is, that's pretty big. He gets blown up with the E in Matt's hand. That's true. Does Matt keep this hand? He does. He scryed and put a flood and strat on the bottom. I mean, glistener elves are glorified two ones. Like it's like a fancy two one. But one it's thing to keep in mind. One thing to keep in mind. Um, does it's Matt weird. play around? Hold on. Does Matt play around mental misstep to play this EE using two lands for one? That's how he could get blown out this game. If he plays, if he just goes yeah, yeah, land yeah. EE, he can then get it misstepped. Yeah, yeah. He can, he can because it doesn't matter. He's not going to activate it until turn three anyway, right? Right. It's oh, just... wait, no, no, he'll be able to activate turn two. That's yeah, right. he'll be able to activate turn two. How scared is he of a, just a huge uh, infect draw? When really it's kind of a lukewarm infect draw. He gets the Savannah. <laughs> he I gets don't the need... Savannah because then any mana source top deck lets him play the Stony, Stony Silence. Silence. He wants the Stony Silence more than he wants the Bludgeon Agent. He wants Stony Silence really bad because it shuts off the EE, which I wasn't considering initially. It shuts off, and it shuts off the combo. Shuts off combo, shuts off EE, he has to kill him with stupid 2-2s. Two and he's playing a deck full of giant growths. <laughs> I, I'm so, Oh, wow. There's the fine bird trap. There's a saucy one. I mean, Matt still has a backup of just vamping into something. So, um, I don't think it's horrible to just run this EE into a misstep. I mean, I, he could run the the vamp into the to the misstep. 
which isn't as big a deal as this. Yeah, but if your opponent doesn't have misstep, then then you definitely want this EE in play. Is what kind yeah. of well, you don't like vamping is kind of slow. I'm just saying it's like a contingency <laughs> play. Okay. All right. All right. So Lotus so... for blue mana play the Blighted Agent and the Stony Silence. So he wants to play Stony Silence first. And then because the Blighted Agent gets Mind Break Trapped. So blue, blue, right. blue. I mean, assuming he's playing around Mind Break Trap, yes, he should Stony Silence first. And he wants the Stony Silence. Oh, no. He's going to get Stony Silenced. And then pay one and then just get slammed. Mind Break Trap. Yep. Out of here. That's probably so happy. <laughs> Anytime I get to use my Mermaid Trap, not on turn zero, like not on a storm, not player. on turn one, is like the greatest feeling ever. <laughs> because like after turn one, you're like, shit, my my Mermaid Trap is useless. <laughs> I'm never gonna trigger this thing ever again. I still love and, like uh... turn one's the only time that ever. Well, the like, turn one's when people play all their mocks and stuff. You know, it's very rare that someone actually like plays enough spells after that point. All right, so he's got sits, there's a four mana counter spell. But what does he vamp for? His easy vamp is like ancestral, but I think he wants to actually get something that does stuff. Problem is, oh, he just reveals it. And he's just gonna cast it. I, I kind of don't like vamp for ancestral, to be honest. It's kind of it's only good. two cards. It's not good. It costs blue. It's blue black. Pay two life. Draw three cards. Draw discard two cards. Draw three. Yeah. Kind of ish. Or discard one card. Draw to there. Draw three. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you count the card as a card, yeah. You plus one card, minus two mana, minus two life. Like, is that good? No, I don't think so. I mean, I'd play it. If there was blue-black instant, discard a card, draw three but it's cards. Not, it's not instant, though. Technically, you would need a draw step, right? To oh, yeah, you, eat, you eat your draw step, too. That's, I guess a, the, 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 that's what I mean by the discard a card, yeah. So it'd it be... eats your... It eats your draw step. So, like, if it's a sorcery, it says blue black. As an additional cost, discard a card, draw three cards. Yeah, it's kind of just Night's Whisper. This spell can also be misstepped. Uh, Sullivan's saying that's pretty much Night's Whisper. It's pretty much my Night's Whisper. Night's Whisper that this card counts as yeah, if the yeah. mana costs one card. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're right. It's exactly Night's Whisper. It's Night's Whisper that can be misstepped. That's affordable. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty in terms bad. of restricted cards, anyway. Yeah. I vamp for my restricted card, and it turns it into a two restricted cards into into a borderline playable card. I mean, he had a bunch of lands in his hand. I don't know if uh, getting uh, something uh, else three, would have been better. Just, this is, so this is where he's playing as an aggro deck for the first time. Yeah, <laughs> Sean, Sean, Sean tries to tell us this is an aggro deck. This is the first time he's actually had an aggro hand. Yeah, Every what? time it's just a combo. Double double plow still isn't enough. That's funny. No. He was double plow, but I'll have double plow, and, and then I'll drop a top. I mean, he's, turn. and he's... Ne next turn I'll have dig into something. So he should just be able to plow one of the blooded agents, plow one of the glycerin elves, and then hopefully um, either t top or dig into a creature that can block the third glycerin elf or the third creature. <sighs> yeah, man has to act first because Sean is just happy just attacking with these knuckleheads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting in more effect just makes it much faster clock. Yeah, I, 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 if he draws a pump spell, he's... Oh, well, no, no, he just wants to attack. Nah, that doesn't do anything. Attack, yeah, yeah, it doesn't really do much. Coming at ya. How does he just take three infect like it's nothing? No, you got a sword, at least a bladed agent. That's the very minimum. But this this really gets but, but you mind blown. But, but you out. have to be af you have to be afraid of um right you have to be afraid of the remove like you have to save you kind of hold back the second swords because you don't know if he has two pump spells in hand. Yeah, vines. But you just you do just want to remove the blighted agent. Yeah, you just take the other two because I don't know if you have a pump in your hand, and he's gonna drop a noble hierarch and pass the turn. Yep. Um, end of turn. You can swords one now. Yeah. Um. Now you can dig, and you have six cards in your graveyard, so it only costs two blue. He's topping, actually. <laughs> I mean, of course he's going to use his top. Look, look, look. It's Matt. It's so. Matt. He's going to look. I want to look at the top three. <laughs> All right, let's see what, what was so good about the top three. Another misstep. That's... Mm, it, it's actually, that's really good. Between, yeah. between him and... I mean, he, I guess... 
I guess Brian Kelly was one of the people that trained uh, Matt, which is probably why Matt's such a greedy player now. But uh, <laughs> between between Matt and 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 Brian, I don't know which one's the greedier player. Like not surging there just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. It's just like essence of grit. It's like when Brian last week kept uh, what he <laughs> self and library instead of <laughs> and, or no, no, uh, a library of Alexandria instead of playing as Mox. Yeah. And then got completely left out of and then got like what, wastelanded or I forget was it what. Wastelanded in or something. He you play playing against. He got completely locked out of the game. Yeah. <laughs> I think he still won. He still won his match though, right? Yeah, he still won yeah, that. Yeah. He's another one he of lost the four that, He fours. lost that game horribly. Oh, there's the vines. And, like, he's, like, gonna... He doesn't. Oh, actually, this is really. So now, good. now, yeah, the vines is an incredible draw because now when he tries the swords, is he just going for it? <laughs> what? No. That's really awkward. Maybe what didn't expect him to have another plow. Oh, come on. Come on, Sean. I don't think you expect to have a removal spell. I don't know. Just be happy. Just be happy getting the these. Your opponent has all his men on tapped. Uh, yeah, that was really just sudden. That was really just sudden. A bit too aggressive. Maybe even could just misstep that. Yeah. I definitely agree with plowing instead of misstepping, but still. Alright, so that's a dig. He's got a second EE to get, so doing that's well, yeah, no problem. Yeah, I mean, the plow is a two for one instead of just a one, one for one, but. That was very. That was way too aggressive. That was really aggressive. Um, You just gotta take it. You just gotta eat, get, the, get the two win. Yeah, like what's wrong if, with that? If he, if he lets you just eat the, if he just takes the two, then just let that happen. So he took land and time walk, and now he's topping again. So you put it on the bottom, jet crypt for soul ring emerald. So he just got through a ton of mana. That's humongous right here. So what's the point of putting a password on it if you're just gonna put it in chat anyway? <laughs> Who's just keeping it out? <laughs> random, like just randoms and cockatrice. Oh, randoms and cockatrice. Okay. Yeah. If there, if these people are watching us, there definitely wouldn't be jerk offs. <laughs> just gonna go on a limb. But if you're willing to watch a Twitch stream of cockatrice and want to check it out in the client, you're not gonna be a jerk off. <laughs> All right. So you just see two demonic tutor got pushed to the top. Okay. What do you? I guess you have a third swords. Just get the third swords and just be happy. He has better cards than that, right? Than just getting a swords and better removal spell in the deck, or no? Uh, he is easy. He, e he has a second EE. Yeah, you can get EE. What kill both those creatures? Oh yeah, right? that's true. Yeah, you, you gotta play it right though. So you don't get misstepped. Although that Sean, I he's so messed up. Whatever. Yeah, that's true. Is he gonna time right? walk first? He's gonna time walk first. And then he's gonna look with top. Time walking, time walking top, and then you can demonic and away. And then demonic. He's gonna demonic first, and then top. So let's see what he gets. Oh, he's he's wasting a shuffle. An inefficient top usage by Matt. <laughs> I expect better from him. What was he gonna flip? That's, was he gonna flip not, top for a card? That's, or? that's not enough dirtle topping. No, no, no. This is dirtle topping because he keeps the top in play. It's a mentor. Ugh. Yeah. Demonic tour for mentor. Yeah, what? Demonic tour for mentor. He wants to get this game over. Maybe he's trying to find a second top. That would be pretty big. It's force of will for next turn. I mean, but mentor doesn't actually end the game. So look at the top. It's we see force of will, force of will, soul ring, Tassiger. So he gets the soul ring. Or he can keep second from the bottom because he can flip it at a moment's notice. Yeah, so draw. Yeah, Tom Tom doesn't like the mentor line either. I mean it just it just like what is it doing? I don't know. If he plays like a berserk or something, he just goes right off top of your mentor. Why do you I guess well, why did he do that? Wouldn't it be better just to trigger a thing off a of soul ring? Do he, what? He flipped top yeah. to draw force and then drew the top in his draw step. If he had just put soul ring below his soul ring and then force he draws soul ring plays soul ring same thing he gets a monk and then he can just flip top if he needs to get that card yeah yeah that's probably the better one this, this got really aggressive all of a sudden i'm not sure if i agree with it so we've, we're trading off time walk so five six seven. we need to draw like a land another misstep all right, he can play the like treasure cruise off the three mana. Yeah, know. he can cruise now. Now, do you force this? I mean, that's your opponent's at one card. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, your opponent's at one card. See, now he could flip top and just get the... I don't know. <laughs> you get a bunch of triggers. Um, yeah, I mean, getting the mental is just very aggro. Um, it's going to pay off for him because Sean has nothing. Because his mentor? Because his monastery mentor? Yeah. Because it's like this, it's this mentor, really, yeah. this really, really good creature that wins the game on its own because it builds really, out instead yeah, of up. Yeah. It's so, it's dumb. It's <laughs> it do, it builds out and and up. Yeah, and it's up. It's like the dumbest yeah. creature ever printed. It's not even like a creature. It's like a. I don't even know what to call it. I don't know. It's like let's just homo uh, homogenize every single creature ever <laughs> in vintage by printing this one card. It's just better than everything ever. <laughs> that's true all right it's so like psychotog mixed with uh korea and dryad mixed with uh young pyromancer it's pyromancer and dryad well not dryad because not permanent so pyro 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 dryad pyro dryad pyrotog pyrotog sounds better pyrotog pyrotog yeah yeah pyrotog. it's not all right it's not dry it's more like a tog than yeah all right, okay, so pirate dog. So uh, we're gonna take a quick break. I'm actually gonna get some water because this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> but I will. We will be I mean, right it could back. Be super short. Uh. <laughs> 